The case has been a sensation in France, where Strauss-Kahn was once thought of as a leading contender for president. We asked Mark Phillips to look at the reaction there. There are many in France who were suspicious from the beginning of the case against Dominic Strauss-Kahn. They resented what they saw as a rush to judgment and were appalled at the humiliating perp walk the senior figure in French politics was subjected to. But whatever the insult, Strauss-Kahn's political career as a potential challenger to French President Nicolas Sarkozy appeared to be over. Tonight, though, French newscasts were reporting that the stories of Strauss-Kahn's political death may have been premature. A rehabilitation of sorts has begun, but in a French, not an American way. The American way of doing things would be, uh, I am so sorry of this, I have a problem, I am seeking therapy, my wife is a saint, she supports me, I don't deserve her, and you go and do this. But the French do not apologize. In this country, we have a sort of very old ancient Roman attitude. You know, you, you, you admit to weakness and uh, you're down. The rape allegations in New York had opened the tap on a drip drip of charges of inappropriate conduct in the past by Strauss-Kahn at home in France and on the treatment of women generally in politics there. The Strauss-Kahn case, it was said, was so embarrassing it would finally change the gender landscape in French politics. The way we interact in France with women, in particularly uh, in uh, the political circles. And uh, that's true that uh, some people started to, to say, um, maybe we don't treat uh, women as we should do. So that might be the positive uh, outcome of this story. Dominic Strauss-Kahn is still seen as too damaged to be a serious contender in the next French presidential election, but he can be an influence. One opinion poll showed his popularity rating has gone up 5%. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.